my booktube Lynette here and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the books that I bought in the month of August. I didn't buy many books I think I only bought about seven but I thought that was quite enough to actually warrant doing a book haul this month. I only bought two books on my Kindle um, and then the rest are actual physical books so I'm going to start out with the Kindle books and the first one of those is Conspiracy and Death by JD Robb. This is the eighth book in J.D. Robb's In Death series and it currently is a 50 book series, soon to become 51 books. And it follows Eve Dallas, who is a New York Police Department homicide detective and her family that she has found and created over the past seven or so books. She is married to Rourke. And together they end up investigating serial killers, serial murders, and this book is no exception. Only this time around, Eve has some issues and ends up being put on suspension and told she's not able to carry on the investigation, which would also clear her of any suspicion of wrongdoing. And thoroughly enjoyed this book. I've, like I say, I bought it in August. It was my August in death read. So I have already read it and I did enjoy it. And I do thoroughly re recommend the series. It's actually one that if it wasn't for the fact that it's such a long running series and that it's changed book covers a few times, I'd probably try and collect. Um, but I just know that at some point the cover style is going to change again and that will annoy me and I don't like it. So, uh, so for now, I'm just going to own them on my Kindle. The second book that I bought on my Kindle this month is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. And this is definitely early to, early to mid-teens um, targeted age range. It's a, about a 12-year-old girl called Sophie who has some telepathic powers uh, which she has to keep hidden. She then meets another boy called Fitz who can also read minds and she discovers that actually there is this whole hidden world and she has to leave where she is or and move into some very dangerous times. Doesn't really say any much more than that on the um, blurb on it but I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, I keep picking up um, books of this age because I have a nephew who loves these sorts of stories so I like to try and read them so that I can share them with him and recommend them to his mum to potentially buy for him at some point. The first of the physical books that I bought in the month of August was the one from my uh, book box club pick and that is Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. This is about a young girl whose father has died um, taking with him his fiddle which he could use to call up the dead. Her brother is implicated in a murder and she needs to decide whether she's going to retrieve the fiddle um, to try and help prove her brother's innocence or leave the fiddle where it is um, and potentially allow her brother to be convicted of a murder he probably didn't commit. Other than that, I don't know anything about it. I love the cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm hoping to pick this up very, very soon. It sounds, again magic mystery it's all up my uh, street so I'm really looking forward to picking this up sometime soon. So the next book that I picked up I have been trying to get hold of a copy of for a few months now. Um, it's one it's not in my usual reading style but it's one that I heard a lot about at the beginning of the year by people who were talking very passionately about it and every time Anybody said to them, oh, I'm thinking of picking up, um, this small group of people said, do it, you're going to love it, do it. And it influenced me. And this book is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This is about Kaya, a young girl who lives in a marsh in um, a small town in North Carolina. Uh, she's thought of to be a bit odd. Um, and it's also about the murder of a young boy, which is actually blamed on Kaya and it goes from there i don't really know anything else about it that's pretty much all i've picked up off the back of it like i say all i know is that everybody who seems to have read this book recommends it it's very well loved um and i'm looking forward to picking it up very very soon uh i don't think it's going to be long before i pick it up because like i say i've been i've been trying to get hold of a copy for for months but uh, my local bookshops that were open um didn't have a copy of it um and 
at the beginning of lockdown I just ummed and about it a bit too much I think um, and never actually got around to buying it from Amazon um, so yes this one is one that I'm really looking forward to reading and I hope to be picking up very very soon and the next book that I bought, um, I actually bought at the same time as Where the Crawdads Sing, and it's The Institute by Stephen King. Stephen King, once upon a time, was an auto by author for me. But around about 12 years ago, I started to fall out of love uh, with his... Maybe not fall out of love with his books, but I think I probably burned out a little bit. I read him an awful lot during my teens and very early 20s. So I think I just maybe had had enough and needed a break, needed to read something else. However, I have really started to think about his books again. There's an entire series of his that I want to reread. And then when I saw this in the bookshop, um, I very intrigued by the cover. Um, it, it reminds me of some early covers that I picked up of his uh, and some early stories of his that I read as well. Um, when I was in my teens and it really really did catch my eye. This book is about a young man who has a secret ability and he's sent to a facility in the woods in Maine um, and he, there he meets up with three others. They are tested on, um, experimented on and there seems no hope of escape until something happens one day. Again that's all I've got off the back so I don't really know much more than that about it. All I know is that I recently read um, a short story by Stephen King that I absolutely loved and I just started to really think about his writing again and I am I really want to get to this at some point and pick it up. Like I say, I need to start reading the books and not just buying them at the moment. Um, but again, he was an autobiography author for me. Um, I did have a lot of paperbacks of his um some years ago but I got rid of them and replaced them all with the Kindle versions uh, but I really want to see more of his work on my bookshelves behind me <laughs> and then in the same batch as the Institute and Where the Crawdads Sing and purely because there was a buy one get one half price but the Where the Crawdads Sing wasn't included in that I picked up Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman I picked this one up because it's about race um, and I'm trying to read more diversely but also because there's been a TV series recently based around it, which I was quite intrigued by, but never got around to watching. I like I prefer to read books before I watch the adaptations. Um, but I was really intrigued by it. From what I know, uh, people of colour are actually more in power in this than white people. Um, and again, it's love across the divide. It's um, a white man falling in love with a black woman coloured woman and it's about star-crossed love uh which again i like i like a bit of romance in my books so i'm gonna really enjoy it i think uh so and i really think it's going to in my journey to read diversely i think it's actually going to be quite an important read um so i'm looking forward to picking this one up and again hopefully picking it up very very soon uh, like I say, I need to stop buying books and start reading books um, and do that a bit more often. And then finally, I've got a complete impulse buy. I had to go to the next town to do our food shopping over the weekend that I'm actually filming this. And I decided, because I had to pop into the centre of the town, I decided to go into the local Waterstones there and have a good look because I like to have uh, a browse and see what's in there um fully covid safe like i say they've got hand sanitizer everywhere so uh and i didn't pick up books unless i was actually desperately thinking of buying it and i picked up a book that i have seen around um booktube but never read before but I just really wanted to pick it up and see what it's all about. And that book is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. This is the first book in a space opera series. And humanity, again in this one, um, humanity has colonised space and colonised Mars. And it's about um, 
a ship that it then becomes in possession of a secret, a secret that people are willing to kill for. It's also about a detective who is hunting for a young woman. Um, other than that, I don't know anything about it. All I know is I've got a bit of an interest in sci-fi at the moment. Um, so this, like I say, I've seen this around. I don't think I've really heard anything bad about it. So I wanted to pick it up and give it a go. So hopefully again, this one will be on my long list of series that I am ever starting and never finishing. Um, but hopefully sometime soon. So those were all the books that I bought in the month of August. What did you pick up this month? Did you pick up any good books? If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Like I say, I should be reading more books than buying more books. Uh, however, I always like to hear about new ones. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.